All right, time to get this thing cleaned up. Place some skis on it. Cause last time I was out on Big Lake, I broke that one. Had a big old wind drift going too fast, and these uh, color skis after 20 years ain't as strong as they used to be. So, but we're gonna get this thing cleaned up, get it ready to be sold. It's all right. I am selling an XE 700, but that's okay. It'll fund building other sleds. So, hell yeah. Gonna hit it with the fresh washer with the widespread tip, so I don't blow nothing off it, but. Here we go. All right, this thing's looking pretty good. Swapped out my windshield because I can't give it up. It's got my racing numbers. Um, give the guy an option. Has brand new smoke flared windshield or brand new white flared windshield. He chose the white one, and I can't say nothing. I think the white looks best too. Uh, got <laughs> dash bags drying off right now. But yeah, it's coming together. Looking pretty good. Um, the guy's super pumped about it. So. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of sad to see this one go. It's a pretty unique build, having the BES, best, however you want to say it, uh, 700 under the hood. But put some good miles on it this winter. Thing ran great. I wish I would've got more video of me riding this, but honestly, this winter I was just having fun riding, so. Yeah. All right, here we go. Got the thing jacked up. Time to pop these skis off. Luckily, it's gonna be super easy, because I have brand new hardware and bushings and spindles and everything from when I put the skis on like last freaking winter or whenever I put the skis on. I honestly don't remember. It's been a couple years. And uh, so, yeah, time to get this popped off. Because of that. Woo. I tell you what, there's nothing more beautiful than brand new hardware and skis that just come right off. If you guys are anything like me, you have absolutely fought and had to cut bolts off and all kinds of stuff to move skis, and that is a wonderful thing. Anyways, time to go find some different skis to put on this. <laughs> a little sidetracked here. We got so many sleds to build still. We got the XCR 440 700 looking rough. XCR 440 800 mod needs finished. Pro XR 800 needs built. XC 700 needs built. And come back here. Got that Pro R 600. Need to do top end on it. That thing's good to go. I don't know. I think I'm going to part this X2 out. Take everything from it for that XR. This RMK part out. I got an XLT here. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's got to let you start. It's probably going to end up being a parts sled, though. Strip it out. Fire sale a bunch of stuff off this on eBay or something. Need a short track. That 97 XC700. This 98, well, 97 clone. I don't know. It's pretty much good to go. Parts. I don't know if I'll ever build this one, but maybe. I don't know. Oh, anyways. All right, let's see here. Plastic skis look all right. We'll ignore those fancy aluminum trailing arms because I don't know if I'll ever do anything with those. Yeah, I can't wait to get back to working on this one though. Short tracker up, be ready to rip. Okay, scooped up a pair of black skis from the backyard. I am hoping I'm able to get the spindle bolts removed and. <laughs> Otherwise, I end up having to cut the bolt stuff like I was saying I don't like doing. But old stuff, sometimes you got to do it. I'm going to get the cotter pins pulled out of these castle nuts, get them zipped off, and uh, pray to God those come out. If not, there you go. Use the press, which I never freaking use. But, yeah. I don't know if I ever showed somebody this. A real 97XC700C. It's not perfect. Got a good deal on it. That might end up on one of my other projects. Originally, I bought it for my 97XE, so I could put the perk seat on the bench or the shelf and use that as my rider, but it might end up on another sled. More details come on that though. But I mean, hell, like I know, my plans literally change day to day as to what's happening with parts, so it's just that, what builds I'm gonna work on, I never have any clue. I'm just winging it. So all I know is for now, I gotta get this thing 
up to par with skis that aren't broken. So back to it. Okay, there's one down. Hopefully this one comes right out too. Okay, naturally this one's fighting me. Bolt won't come out. Tap out the hammer, no luck. Let so PB blaster and doesn't loosen up. Oh, the press. Bam! Black skis installed. So my smoke one shield's just chilling there. <sighs> next thing's next. Got the air box pulled. I'm gonna clean this mess up. Carbs are getting pulled. I already got one taken apart. Clean them up, making sure they're all super, super clean. All passages are clear, etc. Also, I'm gonna double check my needle slide and jets are in the sink so I can tell the guy exactly what setup I have in it because I don't freaking remember. But this is an awesome time to be able to clean this mess up in here, make this thing look better. <sighs> I'm gonna get this thing done, not wanna get rid of it. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's going to a good home. It's all I gotta remind myself. All right, these things are freaking spotless. Uh, 185 mains, 38 pilots. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and slam these back together, toss them back in the sled. Okay, I did clean up a little bit. It is not spotless, but hot damn, looking a lot better than it was before. Haha, -ha, two clean carburetors installed. You know what? Let's throw some brand new spark plugs in this thing. Just like that, fresh plugs, clean carbs. Hell, it's even got the rubbers on the air box. <sighs> Skis are swapped out. It's got that brand new windshield. When I say brand new, I mean brand spanking new. I took it out of the bag, on the sled it went. Uh, I still need to put the dash bag on, but that's easy stuff there. Seems looking pretty dang good. A little sad about getting rid of my dual rates up front, but it is what it is. Reverse electric start. This is a rare bird. Granted, it needs a battery. Electric start don't work. <laughs> it does if I put a battery charger on it, but otherwise it don't work. Oh man, I got dirty again. No! I'm trying to do beauty shots. Can't do it when she's all dirty. There we go. Yeah. Anyways, I'm pretty pretty confident the guy's going to be... Oh, whoa. I almost died. I just tripped over the ski. I know for a fact he's pumped about the sled, so that makes me really happy. <sighs> That's all it's left to do is fire this thing up. Let's tour sing. Okay, so I ran this thing on choke before shutting her down, pulling carbs. I'm hoping it's a choke. Fire right up run long enough to prime the carburetors and everything. Happy, happy with that, I mean, I'm sure the guy that's buying it's gonna be happy with it. I keep getting people telling me to quit selling the 98s because this ain't the first one I've sold. Uh, it's probably, I think, two years ago I built a 98 and I sold it. <sighs> it's always kind of a regretful thing seeing these 98s leave the garage, but 
hey, I sold the last one, which helped fund building this. And you know, it just, the way it works, just keep building them. Uh, it's, it's not cheap to build these, but you know, someone's gotta do it. So I think I'm just my idol on this thing. Get the heck out of my garage, start cleaning this place up again. Cause every time I get a project going, I destroy the place all over again. So until next time guys.